Oh, thank God. Am I allowed to do that with some of my uh, other uh, bosses? More fiery telling me to do this torment for years? But anyway, yeah, thanks. Finally, got to see Terrifier 2. Last minute, on its last sh a showing, most likely. And on an awesome win, discovering a theater that's been near, but never noticed before. Kind of appeared, just like Sardo's Magic Shop or something like that. But yes, Terrifier 2, a 2022 American slasher film written, directed, and produced by Damien Leone. The sequel to 2016's Terrifile, the second of the franchise, and boy oh boy, continues. While as he said, because afterwards we lucked out with a... Uh, Q&A thing after it, so you get to hear very good reasons to why stuff happened, what was made, and everything else. And what they have planned for future endeavors. Yes, hopefully they do. This one dives right into more backstory and everything and characters and all sorts of stuff, even more so in Miles County after they've been affected by this whole thing of Art the Clown. So here we are a year after the last film. It takes place right after that. And Art, <laughs> it's terrifying, grotesque, and funny moments again. I mean, I mean, he just got done doing what he did. His clothes are a mess, so of course he has to go to the laundromat and clean his clothes right there. No one seems to mind. Uh, did I say mime or mind? But David Howard Thornton returns as Art the Clown, and Samantha Scafidi returns as, yes, Victoria from the first film. Lauren Lavera and Elliot Fulham play our two main leads. Lauren, Sienna Shaw, and Elliot as Jonathan Shaw her younger brother. And boy, there is some stuff going on here. There is story you're liking again, these characters, families, and then her friends, the mother, and what's going on. You know already what's going on with these characters, what's kind of being set up, the psychologicalness of it. Very well done writing and casting, I would say. They all do great performances. I mean, I really got a kick out of a lot of uh, Elliot's stuff. And Lauren again as a great final girl, and I love her angelic Valkyrie form. That belly. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so we even do get some side boob in the shower. Appreciate it. But there's a lot to take in with this film, and again, for being over two hours? Wow! It did not feel like it. And it just, I've noticed in both these films, they have their own way of how they are. They are. Just the scenes, they're like, some of them are long, drawn out, but it's like this slowness with some quick, and then some slowness with some, ah, blend guns everywhere, some slowness with, like, Damien really has, like, a feel throughout both these films, and it, I'm glad it carried on from the first of this one, and it shows, I mean, luckily enough how we got to see it, and according to this, it has made over 1.2 million dollars. As of me recording this, on a budget of supposedly 250000 That is awesome. You'll be seeing more of this, I am sure. And thankfully, yeah, it, it just really, without too, too much spoilers, acting, everything, the story. I liked how we delved more into the place where they live, the town they're from, and these characters, what's going on with these new main characters we're getting, their backstories, Art the Clown and his backstory, and his new little companion... That was an interesting choice that they came up with. She was interesting. And, oh my goodness, I mean, just everything about it. These are great films, and they are something that could be up there at some point, someday. Put these alongside Freddy, Jason, and uh, Michael, etc. Art is still just, you, you hate the guy more, but then there are times where you just you love the wackiness. Like when he's in, the, in a shop harassing her main girl, and he's trying on glasses, playing with things, playing with the horn. It's 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 pretty funny. You're like, oh, come on. And then the choice to make sure it's grotesque, but a candy bowl out of someone's head. Mm. And thankfully to a certain uh, stupid garbage thing from that started in 2020, it led to, wow, an incredible scene where they're like, oh, we have the time now, they said. To just go more and not rush this death scene. And this is one of the most over-the-top death scenes. And then the effects. Damien doing the effects himself and adding on to this with these prosthetics and the practical effects. And then seeing a move and then the stuff you see. Wow, but it just kept going. Just when you think it stopped, it went again. Just when you thought it stopped, no, it kept going. And going. And going like the Energizer freaking rabbit. Only demonic and demented and evil. And bloody. But wow, it was amazing. You can tell 
that there is passion with this and the story to continue. I can see that very well. I thought everyone, all the characters, new and old, her friends, what was going on, to the carnival, to funny how the word terrifier seems, to, ah, that's it. Just about every little thing still, only knowing a little bit on the surface of the top of that iceberg, the tip, I should say, and then there's still plenty to go. And see, I planned, and I hope there's more planned. This was, wow. I was happy that I got to see this in theaters, is all I could say. Lucked out, great performances, and keep going guys keep going i'd like to see where more's going and that ending yeah the ending the continuation i knew like something like that was going to happen but wow it's always good to see the over the topness on this was great i love how they do this and from the opening credits montage to her making her costume with the title screen and then throughout the end that 80s synthesizer type of music oh, it just gave you this movie gave you that feel you don't get this anymore from big studios you really don't get this kind of feel this Indie, more of a low-budget horror series, franchise films. They are more of what you loved from the 80s horror and slashers than what the studios are making now. I'm sorry. As much as I love Halloween 2018 and Kills, they still feel now. This felt like then, but in a very good way. Like, this felt like this could have been part of that era. There is some great stuff here worth checking out and this one like the first one crazy kind of freddy territory with the kills and all that stuff there but this one here was over the top greatness it's what you got to do with the sequel baby <laughs> uh, but yes terrifier 2 terrifier i think is an a terrifier 2 also an a this guy just keeps winning great job to everyone else. i love the new characters i hope to see lauren return and elliot to see their story continue and her and her sexy little Angelo Valkyrie outfit. Anyway, uh, oh, and also I am very happy that you gave us at least some wet, naked back and side boob. Appreciate it. At least something in this one. But yes, great film. Go check it out if you can. And deserving to see on the big screen, Terrifier 2. This indie low-budget horror film does what the big studios don't. And it's a shame. We need more like this. We need more like this. Get out there and make more like this. I mean, I'm not just talking about more terrifiers. I'm talking about people out there. Make some good horror movies. We need these. <laughs> this one takes a crap on a lot of other stuff recently. And even though some were good, but mm, great job. Terrifier 2. Perfect for the Halloween season. And again, whatever. But thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm the Grim Reviewer, and we'll see you next time. Bravo again. Bravo.